Now to a developing story we're following for you. Fenway, the dog of Hampton Roads of a Hampton Roads family is dead and his owners say he was attacked at Coastal Dog Services in Newport News. Workers say he got stuck in a fence and the company has a previous animal cruelty charge against it. And this week, people who want the company to close its doors are planning a protest. Nico Clemens reports. In the head. <laughs> sure. Jason Fox says they fought as hard and as long as they could. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever had to go through. But in the end, tragedy for the entire family. The Fox's 10 and a half month old puppy, Fenway, died Friday after fighting for nearly a week to stay alive. Tears were definitely flowing. Fox says his dog was attacked at Coastal Dog Services in Newport News more than a week ago. Fox, his wife, and their five year old daughter were all at the hospital to say goodbye one last time. We feel that he waited for us to be there as a family. Now an investigation is underway at Coastal Dog Services. According to court documents, another dog died while at the boarding kennel in June. Part of the complaint reads the kennel manager, Jennifer Lewis, and Coastal Dog Services failed to provide emergency veterinary treatment. The complaint also says that the owner, Rick Tavalia, knew the attack happened, but took no further action to provide care to the animal. We're pursuing uh, new laws in the state of Virginia. Fox is now doing everything possible to prevent this from happening again. We want to make sure that this is not something that's swept under the rug. And I do want to mention I reached out to Tavalia several times today, but I have not heard back from him. Tavalia, as the owner of Coastal Dog Services, is expected in a Newport News courtroom this Wednesday. Lewis's next court date is scheduled for October 4th. In Newport News, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.